But if you think about the whole context, the polemical context of Voss is dealing with, the, 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 the whole philosophical construct of modern philosophy he rejects this outright. Yes. This is impossible. Because we have, you know, oversimplified, but we have a noumenal realm and a phenomenal realm and never the twain shall meet. Yeah. Uh, and, and we cannot take messages, communication and whatnot from the noumenal realm of, you know, where God, the, the realm where God lives, so to speak. And it cannot be translated into the present in any way that we could say that the present is, in fact, God's word. It can only testify to it. It can, yes. it can only point us back. It could be a particular instantiation for a particular context yes. that could have a, a, a plan and a purpose and a function in that context. But it, we, we would never be able to say in the modern philosophical context that this is the word of the Lord. Yes. I, in fact, I remember this. You're, you just jogged something in my memory, Camden. Um, I think when you get older, these things start to happen to you. Uh, I'm 52. I'm not that old. But, you know, you start looking in the rearview mirror every now and then. And um, I studied under Bonson and Frame uh, back in from 94. Well, well, I studied with Bonson from around 1990 until or 91 until 1995 when he died. And then Frame from 94 to 98. And both of them at the at the I would study philosophy with Bonson early in the morning and then I go to seminary right and study with Frame, and um, during the course of my study on Kant, Frame and Bonson overlapped. It was <laughs> one of the most delightful moments of my time at Westminster. You know, I I, I it, both of them were talking about Kant, um, and it, it was beautiful. Both of them said this in different ways. They said on Kant's view of dimensionalist his dimensionalist view of noumena and phenomena. God cannot speak directly in phenomena. Nope. And that's I, right. Right. Cannot do it. Impossible. Uh, has to be filtered through the conditions that constitute all experience. So it has to be finite, has to be limited, has to be purely human. In other words, the word of God is, is in this in the medium of the word of God is the fallible witness of men. There is no superintending word from God that naturally falls into the words of men in Bart's theology or in Kant's theology. But anyway, Voss's whole point here, mm -hmm. I think, God can is, it, absolutely, is that just as God can create mm -hmm. immediately, so God can speak immediately, and that speech can be immediately understood and in the case here as Voss is saying when the um when the the oracle comes at the very moment preceding delivery and the prophet speaks those very words he is speaking directly the words of god and that's what as you say kant and bart and the critical tradition they say god cannot do that that's why scripture yeah. is either religious affection set forth in speech mm -hmm. uh, classical liberalism or a word of witness to an ineffable phenomena in an entirely distinct dimension with Bart. yeah this really is a deeper protestant conception to use a phrase from voss's uh, reform dogmatics that uh, man has inherent within him naturally created in the garden uh not just a proclivity to god but the but the ability all the equipment and he is inclined toward and directed toward greater consummate and glorious fellowship with God in the highest of heavens. Amen. He doesn't receive that later. That's something built in. Amen. And, which more so, he already exists within a religious fellowship with God in which he has the capacity and, in fact, does hear God speaking to him. Amen. And he speaks Amen. back to God. Amen. Now, two things on this. Communion bond. <laughs> Communion bond. Yes, this is, this is a deeper Protestant conception, and there are Amen. some modern... Roman Catholics, I won't speak, nobody can speak for the whole Catholic Church. I don't think even the Pope That's can. so true. But uh, there are some who place the magisterium in that in that gap between the noumenal and the phenomenal. That if you need that translator to get the noumenal realm, the, the place, you know, of speech, God in the highest heavens to, you know, our everyday experience, is the magisterium of the Catholic Church that can do that translation yes. for us. They're the codec for people yes. who know computer stuff code decode they're the instructions for coding and decoding 